All right, this is going to be um, a short activity to start teaching your um, students how to um, count coins that are mixed up. For instance, pennies and nickels, uh, quarters, nickels and dimes, that sort of thing. I'm starting with uh, nickels and pennies because they're the easiest and they're the uh, obviously the, the least amount of all the coins. So what I do is I have a um, number line here that goes to 1 through 25 and then I just have a whiteboard simply I wrote 1 and 5 because we're going to be counting by 1's or 5's and I let the student choose. So in the beginning I ask them which one do you want to count by and this is after I've already assessed that they know what counting by 1's is so uh, we'll, you know if they say 1 then we'll just kind of go 1, 2, 3 and we'll place the cubes on top of the numbers until we get to about five, right? And we're counting by ones, and so I, I usually put like a little cube here so that so they know. And then I tell them to stop, and then I say, okay, now we're going to switch to fives, and we're going to count by fives now. But we're on the number five, and so I the whole idea is to get them to understand that they are at five, and now we're going to start counting by fives. So which would take us to ten, and obviously fifteen. And then I'll say, okay, stop. Now we're switching back to counting by ones. So we're on 15, but we want to count by ones now. And again, the object is to get them to be able to say, okay, now we just add one, which is 16, 17, 18, 19, and then 20. And then usually at the end I'll say, okay, stop. Now we want to switch back to counting by fives. But we're at number 20 already. And so I want, obviously want to get them to be able to say, okay, and then 25. And so that's what our uh, number chart looks like. What I'm seeing, the difficulty is, is interchanging counting by ones and then counting by fives. We'll get to five, and I'll say, okay, let's count by fives. And they'll start back at the beginning and say five, ten. So they've memorized how to count by fives, rotely, but they are having um, difficulty interchanging those two, counting by fives up to a certain number, and then switching, and then counting by ones up to a certain number, and then switching and going back to fives. And this is sort of the basics for counting nickels and, uh, and pennies together. Because if you have a handful of uh, nickels and pennies, being able to look at the nickels and understanding that they just represent five cents each, and then switching back over to uh, just counting by ones with one cent each.